Hello, my name is Richard Windmichler and uh, I'm a member of the KBFA. I began my football career so where I grew up, um, every, every family sends his boys into a football team, that's what we do, where I come from. And then over the time you figure out you're pretty good at it and uh, as a kid you create your dream and imagine to play one day in front of fans and uh, and uh, that's just how it started and then yeah one year after another went by and uh, in the end I made it to professional football and I'm very happy and fortunate to be able to call myself a professional football player. I would say definitely the adaptation time um, I experienced in uh, the, the first couple of team changes I had that I think the way I played at my previous team, I just played the same way at my new team because what worked there should work here, but uh, that's the biggest lie and uh, I, that's probably an advice for eventually younger players that once you change the club um, you need to adapt and you cannot be too hard on yourself at the beginning, uh, it will not work the way you imagine it from the first day, so be patient, try to adapt well and uh, after time you get into a rhythm and then you will become the player again you, you want to be. Uh, I would say it's the probably the mentality of, of, of this, this fighting spirit um, where this has the highest priority here to fight and run and to never give up and uh, um, that, that what comes first and then then is the football aspect and um, yes you, you need to know that uh, you have to play physical first and um, um, it's all about you know be help the team and it's not about the individual you know usually I don't like to speak about it because it means that uh, I'm giving someone too much respect but uh, Playing, for example, against what's his name? How you say it, Mike Hunt from Gyeongnam? Mm. He was very big and strong and fast. He had everything. So the first time in the players tunnel, you look up and you think, "Wow, he looks really strong." But um, as I say, if somebody's taller and stronger, you need to be smarter. And uh, I think we did, after all, pretty well against Gyeongnam. And uh, so. I always like the song Don't Worry Be Happy and uh, when I took my first Korean lessons when I came to Ulsan um, in my f one of the first lessons we wrote down some phrases and Gok Chung Hajima was one of them and it stuck with me and uh, I think it's uh, the way you see life, the way you see problems um, It's I think it's uh, it has an overall good message and that's why I keep using it You know, as a, as a player, you change the way of thinking. The way you think as a 20-year-old is like a 180 to now I'm 30. So the day I will retire is probably another approximately five years, so it will change again. But for now, I would say that um, spending so many years abroad in different countries help you grow. And uh, I just want to be become a better person each day and uh, if I retire and say this Richard guy is a really good guy then, then I guess I'm happy and uh, if they do it that he's a decent football player as well then uh, I think that's a good way to end your career. I would say a very underrated one and uh, when I go back to, to the age thing when I was a young player and the Austrian PFA introduced themselves to us I didn't want to listen, I, I just want to play football, I don't care about this. But uh, once you get older you realize how much more things going on outside of the beach and that you need a hand to help. Then also another thing is the solidarity. It's uh, just we are a community, we should help each other and uh, it's uh, you're growing together, you make friendships and uh, it's the thing that I can highly recommend to be part of.
Uh, it means a lot. It's not only legal help. It's you get free football shows. You get uh, free language course if you want. You can go to the hospital and check your eyes, which is very expensive as well. So if you add all those things up, you benefit 10 times more than you actually have to pay the fee for being part of it. So I think all in all, it's, it's a great package and uh, it's a, a thing that every, every professional has to be part of. Uh, well, the, the KBFA always has an open ear for you and uh, they're all, almost kind of friends who are listening, giving advice and uh, taking the notes and you, you, you know that uh, you, you've been hurt. They give you the feeling they're really trying to achieve change and the KBFA is the organization to go to if you have any help in whatever aspect of your life. Yeah, good change,